Good day, everybody. Today we're going to do lesson number two, grade four, term two. Um, the topic is addition. Your link to your work, uh, DBE workbook is worksheet number 30A. So I'm just going to open it and you can see it's worksheet 30A. And then here you will find then the links to the CAPS document. Um, and at this point is where the parents and teachers can then pause the video because now you can go and have a look at what's the resources, um, some did you know questions. You can always do these with learners to start the lesson um, on something very interesting. And then the dictionary words. These are the words that we need to understand to be able to teach our children. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to ask the children or the learners to come closer now and we're going to do the mental mathematics. So the mental mathematics, um, after I'm going to explain, you're going to pause the video and then you're going to, the learner can give the answers orally or write it down. After that, um, you're going to unpause and you're going to mark it. So it's time to pause. Welcome back. Um, let's quickly then see what is the answers? So the answers then is displayed here in the answer section. You can quickly pause and you can mark it. Well done. Let's then go and look at the introduction. Now the introduction again is in the previous lesson, I showed you what flawed cards or place value cards um, are, I will highly recommend this that you go and search or Google it and print it out or you can give us a call at SA Teacher so we can send you a template. Remember um, this age, um, how more we do things practically with the learners, how more they understand. So let's quickly look on the right hand side. So here what we have is we have two unit cards, here we have two tens cards, here we have two hundreds cards and here we have two thousands cards. So remember what we do is we work in the decimal system. That's why we have units, tens, hundreds and thousands. So first what you're going to do is uh, make or give us about five examples where you just add units. Then five examples where you just going to add tens or use 10 cards. Then five examples where you're going to add, for instance, 400 plus 200, and you're going to give the answer 600. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add then the thousands. So what you do is you search for a 4,000 card, a 2,000 card, and you add it and you get the answer. So it's time to pause, and I want you then to make five examples of each of these. It's time to pause. Welcome back. So what we're going to look is in these examples, we're only going to look at um, the example ones. Um, please note that there are a variety of um, methods and examples in the CAPS document. Please, there's a reason for this. Um, a lot of time people say, but this is um, not the maths they did. There's a reason for everything that we do. So please don't skip it. Um, I'm going to place um, the emphasis on example one, um, but please, if you as a parent, school, district, um, are doing the others as well, please do so. There's nothing wrong also to explain it to your child so they can get used to different methods. In life, we don't all do things the same thing. And maybe you think a way um, that's easier. It's also, we also, in the CAPS curriculum, we introduced the column method in grade five. So let's quickly see here. So we got two numbers that we're going to add, 2,435 plus 1,243. So we're going to write them down, and then we're going to take each of these numbers and we're going to write it in expanded notation. So here we got 2,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 5, and then the next number we got 1,000, 240, and a 3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to group the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the units together. So um, what we can do is we can make use of brackets just to make it easier for us. So I just quickly going to put in the brackets. So we got the hundreds together. Here we got the tens. And here we got the units. 
me just expand there a bit. So here we got the units. Um, let's move that all out of the way. And now what we have is we have 2,000 plus 1,000 is 3,000. 400 plus 200 is 600. 30 plus 40 is 70. 5 plus 3 is 8. And now we can use our place value skills and we can just add the numbers. So we got 3,678. Let's go and scroll then down to the next example. So here we have example again. So I'm going to focus on example three. And we, what we have is it's 5,362 plus 2,486. So we're first going to write it in expanded notation. Um, I'm going to point to the number and you then going to say it. I'm going to start off by saying this is 5,000. Excellent. So that was 5,362. Let us try the next one. I'm going to point and you're going to say. Brilliant. 2,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 6. So that's what we have there. So now again is we're going to group the thousands together. So I'm going to put brackets around them. So we got 5,000 and 2,000. We got 300 and 400. Um, we got 60 and we got 80. And we got two and we got six. So now we're going to add it 7,000 plus 700 plus 140 plus eight. And you can add it and you can get the answer. But if you're struggling with that, I just go quickly going to enter then a line for you there. So what we can do there is we can say 7,000 plus 700 plus 100 plus 40 plus 8. And what we can do now is we can group the 700 and the 100 to make it easier for you. And then we can say 7,000, 700 plus 100 is 800 plus 40 plus 8. Or you can even add another step where you have 7,000, 700 plus 8, uh, 700 plus 100 is 800 plus 40 plus 8. Okay, so after this, what you're going to do is you then going to use the methods that I explained and you're going to complete your worksheet. Um, you can do the worksheet in the DBE book or you can use the SA teacher worksheets. Um, and you're then going to write the following in expanded notation. We gave you example there. Um, we're going to add the following. Um, calculate using different methods. Um, here I said examples one and two. Start with, with example one. Um, if you have time, you can carry on with example two. Um, here the same with question number four. Use example number three. Um, but if you have time, carry on with example number four. So after that, um, we always have our problem solving of the day. So um, very important with the problem solving, what we're going to look at is my mother bought appliances for 5,247 and 1,879. So the first thing is we're going to identify the numbers. So we identify the numbers and we know that's the numbers that we're going to use in the word problems. But then my mother bought appliances for that amount and that amount, how much did she pay all together? So the word all together guides us and tells us that we need to add this. And this is where you're then going to write down your number sentence. 5,247 Rand plus 1,879 Rand equals, remember your placeholder, that little block. Um, and then what you're going to do is solve it. And remember, you're going to end off your word problem by saying, how much did you uh, did she pay altogether? My mom paid so much altogether. Remember to when you do your problem solving to do it step by step. Then again, it's we've got extra activities and remediation. Extra activities are, are always activities that's coming from old 
um, exam papers, um, previously the ANA examples, um, Olympiad tests, and so on. Then here with the remediation is where we provide you with extra activities for those learners that struggle. Um, if you need to help them, pause at this stage, use your flat cards, place value cards, and help them to add. Then lastly, your consolidation is where you're going to ask yourself the questions. Um, can, my learn, can my learners build up numbers to add them together? You answer yes or no to the questions. If all the questions are yes, you carry on to the next lesson. If you have some no, you need to go and revisit, revise these sections, or you call us at SA Teacher for support.